Question. Are we obsessed by bikes? Yes, we are. And how can we use that to our advantage? It's all coming up on this week's Dirt Shed Show. Yeah, welcome to this week's Dirt Shed Show. It's, we've been thinking, are we obsessed with bikes? We've been doing it for a long time now. Yeah, well, it's non stop. Yep. But also, I got thinking, so I'm uh, packing up my garage to move house. And, oh, he's leaving. Yeah, but most of my stuff, I'm not leaving. Most of my stuff is bike stuff. How much bike stuff have I got? I'm oh. obsessed with bikes. Why have I got all this kit? I think, you know what, the bottom line to being obsessed is, I, I would say, is the fundamental key to becoming successful. It's think? an obsession. Yeah, because if you're not obsessed with something, you're not going to go anywhere, are you? Do you not think sometimes you're, too much of your life revolves around bikes, or you think about it too much, or all your leisure time you want to go riding bikes? Yes. Obsessed, Neil. I sometimes wonder though. You know, I'll have a week off and I'll go surfing or something. I'll come back and think maybe I'm a surfer who actually just rides bikes more than I should do. Do you know what I mean? You know, I think I see. I think exactly the same thing, but with radio control cars. Oh. Should I have been an absolute RC geek? I've just got back into it. But yeah, you did. To say that we've been talking about this quite a lot. In the we have. Today. We have. You and I are actually obsessed now with radio controls. For a Again. while. It's pure nostalgia for me. But do you think you need to be obsessed to be good at something? And if you are obsessed, I mean, you know, phones, people are obsessed with their phones. 100% obsessed with it. I think it's an but addiction. That's not a good thing. Obsession. Drinking, you yeah. know, chasing the opposite sex. That's things that people do get obsessed by. Yeah. But how do you turn something that you're really into? I guess bikes, you know, it's been positive for us. Yeah, We've it gone has. down the pro route and now we're doing this. Exactly. Now, to get to the pro route, you would, you'd, again, you have to be obsessed with the sport with progression within your skills to get to a point, then you're obsessed to be, you know, do a competition that you really want to take part in. I think you've obviously got to really enjoy it, haven't you, to be good at something. There's the 10,000 hours thing, but mm -hmm. I'm not sure they, that exists anymore. They say you've got to do something for 10,000 hours, and you're not going to do it if you're not. You There's know, a book on that. Yeah, exactly. There's but if you're not really, really interested in it, you yeah. won't do the hours yeah. anyway. Well, it, now when it comes to like, let's talk about roadies. Or XC, something in, in, endurance. Someone that's chasing numbers, yeah. for a, that becomes an obsession. I guess maybe an unhealthy obsession or a healthy one. Because, it feels different to me, doesn't it? Because yeah. I feel like it was the buzz. It's the adrenaline buzz for me of mm. like riding down a hill as fast as I could. Yep. It's a different thing to like the satisfaction of being really fit. But yeah. I guess horses, of course, isn't it? Yeah, but it gets to a point, Neil, where the obsession gets out of hand and you want to get to the top. And the only way you can get to the top is if you're taking illegal substances. Substance, really? I never did sub that. Well, maybe that's why I didn't get to the top. Some people take it too far. They do. Let us know if you're obsessed by, bike, uh, by riding bikes. And if you think it's healthy or if you sort of, what do you sort of funnel into your bike riding life that mm. makes you better at doing it as well? Well, yeah, what is your balance between the two, to, you know, so you don't just go off on a tangent in one way. Anyway, let's get in to the news. Head over to Tom. What's up, everyone? Not a lot on Newswise this week. Weather affected the racing in Andorra last weekend, so the organisers went ahead with a slightly different schedule and a revised course, cutting out that big road gap in the downhill. Ryan Pinkerton won his first event. Eris van Leuven win her first in Rainbow Stripes as well. Nina Hoffman and Thibaut Dupreya secured their first wins this year. In the XC, it was Wiley Amos and Bori Noel winning the under-23s, and Mona Mitamala had her long-awaited first elite XCO win, just 21 years old, and Matthias Flukiger secured his first win since Leergang last year. Of course, for more racing news and a deeper dive into the events and those results, catch up with Neil and the Racing News Show, or keep an eye out for my full gas segments over on GMEN Racing. And if it's been too long for you since a new standard appeared in mountain biking, then WTB are here to look after your needs. They've been cooking up a new 750D wheel size, primarily focused at the gravel market, and they're currently available to order on custom built-to-order bikes. All right, that's my time this week. Let's head back to the guys in the shed. Right, this week's sickest thing is this new video from the Rise crew called Riding the Volcano. It's a 10 day mountain bike street adventure in Tenerife directed by Lewis Lomo, where they've stacked 20 minutes worth of footage with some of the best mountain bike street riders. It features Walter Merhofer, Tom Kilcoin, Simon Eldfielder, Nicholas Tilk, Pavel Elkin, Michelle Plonka, Lewis Lomo, Tim Begas, Alex Roussel, Matt Jameson, and Fran Louis. 
It's really cool to see some Matt Jameson, aka Matt the Rat clips in here. So if you didn't know, Matt and Bike Street used to basically just be like downhill bikes jumping off stuff into stairs, which was so gross, or street trials. And Matt was one of the first OGs to come along and make it like way more BMXy and just look cool. And in my opinion, we need to put some respect on him for that. Obviously there's loads of sick clips in here, but oh my God, Tom K doing the backlash to tire scrapey 180. That has to be probably one of the sicker clips. It's just so good. Like just art. Ah, for no reason. Like pointless. Probably took like 5 million goes. But it just looks so good. Right, that's my sickest thing this week. Time to go back to the shed. Right, the best hackle bodge wins a beanie this week. It's nice. Yeah. Not this one. I'm going to take this one. No, it's it's, it's, warm. it's um, winter months are coming. Autumn Feels season. Like that, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Chilly out there. Um, we wrote a manual trainer. We've seen a few of these. We do, yeah. I've never seen one made out of skis. No, why have would you? No, I have. Well, yes, now. But Can you ski no. along whilst manualing? <gasps> what if you put a ski underneath that? That'd be tricky, wouldn't it? Cool, that would be tricky. Well, right. this one's from Chris in uh, Park City, Utah, man. I, I've been in snowboarding in Park City. It's a cool place. Uh, it's made from two pairs of skis. Uh, right, Grant's Giant Stance 29 in Peterburg. Who handed me here? Why, Lekka? Oh, China. I've been there as well. Have you? World Cup down. Yeah, I've been there. Uh, my old pedals had pre cast stud. I know what you mean, the cheaper ones. Instead of pins, they start to wear out. Yeah, they get really slippy. Um, couldn't afford new pedals, so needed to extend their life a bit. So, filed out off the metal studs, drilled holes, screwed in self tapping screws with a drop of uh, lock nut on each. Clipped and foiled. Wow. Looks savage, but it works. <sighs> Upgrade. Hacker or bodge? Bodge it's actually a bodge? It's actually a really good bodge, yeah. but I love this one. I really like this one. No, this is, I've seen these like a free ride shifter. Is yeah. that a shifter or is that a dropper? It looks like a dropper post lever to, my, to me. This is Alex. It's for bar spins and enduro bikes, so he's probably running yeah, on his Trek Slash. Yeah, it is this dropper. Yeah, because uh, there's still a shif shifter up on the bar. So, when it comes to free ride, uh, people that love to do tricks on what we'd like to call slope duros, an enduro bike slope turned duro. into a yeah. slope bike. Um, wireless shifting is amazing. It's perfectly designed for slope style riders, not. But you need to reallocate certain obstacles yeah. To, so your bars can spin around, and this yeah. is one of them. Well, it's used, Olek has used the sort of lunchbox bit. Well, actually, the bottle cage mount on the lunchbox on his track slash. Yeah. Uh, so it kind of works. It's got, yeah, uh, I don't know about that. I mean, it's kind of a hack, but I he, don't like that he's still got a shifter on. What's the point? Yeah, well, the thing is, why would you put your shifter down there for your drop post when you can you just want. get rid of it because you're not really going to use it? Because as you can see, and there's another picture, a wider one where his shifter is still up there on his right hand side. If you could do a proper slope, Jerry, yeah, you stick a fixed post in and then put your shifter down there. You put your shifter down there. I saw K Deb was running SRAM access, but he didn't actually have the shifter at all. Even he, though it was wireless. No, he just uses the button on the on the and, Mac. And then changes it to the gear Very you want. clever. Like Very that. clever. Yeah, that is like next level hack. Very expensive. Anyway, who's well, won the, the beanie this week? Oh, uh, you know what? Peter Marisberg, huh? Uh, yeah, I think that one's an absolute bodge, putting um, pins. Okay, well, it's is... actually it's it's a hack and a bodge really because you Grant, don't have to buy them. GMBM beanie heading your way. Yeah, it's summertime over there in a minute. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to be good <laughs> next winter. Uh, anyway, go to the uploader link down below in the description. Below this video, send us your hacks and bodges. Caption contest, look at this beautiful human oh, being. Oh, Doddy. He's leaving. He's gone. He's gone. Huh. Anyway. Moment of silence over. <laughs> There's some incredible ones. Incredible ones on uh, here. Drew Cray says, are you sure there were 0% beers? Well, they definitely weren't 0% <laughs> beers. We got, we got a one that comes up all the time. Is yes, Cornish Cactus. Of course. Doddy reveals he'll now be working for Bikes. Sorry, oh, bike. Sorry, <laughs> high uh, Kevin T three one four one. Dolly after his going away party. Wow. Oh. Funny you should say that. Is actually uh, it was last night. Look at the state of him. He needs to have a cigarette in his mouth then, <laughs> doesn't he? He's like, <laughs> um, oh man, Cornish Cactus is pretty funny. It is, but he always wins. He always wins. He's, he's 
potentially See, when, got... Where's the stump mug gone? You've thrown it hey. already. Yeah. yeah it's not... Hang on. I actually think this should be Kevin T3141. I reckon Dolly asks because it is accurate, I think. I think it is accurate. Stunt mug coming your way. Whoa. Oh, it's terrible. Mr. Ashton's really good at that, isn't he? He is, isn't he? He likes destroying things. Anyway. This is this week's photo for the caption contest, so leave us your funny captions down below for a chance to win a stunt mug just like that. Things we loved this week. Yeah, go on then. Toolbox Wars, Kevin Wilkinson, take a look at this. Now, I love a good toolbox. Now, I've made one, budget one, but look at that! I love it, yeah. Hey! I love tools. Oh, things I like to be, well, I've always said around, I'm obsessed with my new Tamiya BBX. He is as car. well. Building the thing, you've got to build the diffs yeah, and the gears. Yeah. All those little ball bearings and those plastic. suspension. Oh my yeah. gosh. It's actually nerdy. Mm. Uh, but also, I actually love watching the race from uh, Andorra the weekend and Thibaut de Prea. Love watching that guy ride, so that, well done to him. And uh, more racing this weekend as well, can't wait. A bit more downhill action. Obsessed with it? Definitely. Oh, let us know if you're obsessed with all the racing. Oh, let us know in the comments. Coming up on the channel this week. Oh, oh, this guy hates hardtails. Oh, it's true. He actually doesn't hate them. He did say he didn't hate them. No, I Steve he does. Jones. No, Steve Jones, he's not a hater. He just thinks they're pointless. But I took <laughs> him out riding on a hardtail. Okay. I mean, it was pretty good. Oh, well, I've been trying to get him on a fat bike for the last five years. I don't think you'll catch no, him on a fat bike don't. ever. It was hard to get him on a hardtail. Then on Sunday, uh, a video with Seth from Burn Peak, and this Oof. is all about building your own bike park where Rich and Anna went to visit him over in North Carolina. Oh! that one. Now, I reckon he's very obsessed with trying to get that done. Yeah, definitely. He had to be. Yeah. He'd done a really good job with that. It's time for the Bike Vault, where you beautiful viewers upload your beautiful rig into the file, which is linked down below if you want to get involved, and we scrutinise them. And but if he gets a super nice, then Ooh. happy days. Happy days, you get a ring of the bell. Uh, start with Ben and his Banshee Paradox V3 hardtail in it, Wiltshire. In Wiltshire, where we are. Well, well, we're not. We're not. We're in Somerset. We're not. Somerset. You are close enough. Yeah. Uh, it's my first proper bike. Previously had a very short travel hardtail. It's been lurking in the garage for years. Got it eight months ago and I'm enjoying it. So decided on an upgrade. The, the uh, Banshee. That's you hardly nice... see the Banshees that are out there. That's a great looking bike. It's beautiful. Look at that little curve of the top tube there again in the seat. I think it's uh, super nice. 100%. Cool. It's cool Even though it's non drive side. Yeah, it's a good looking bike. Beautiful bike. Oh, what's <gasps> this? That is a Scott. Looks like a session. It's actually a Scott Gambler. Gambler. Custom Remember when Gamblers look crazy? You saw that one, didn't you? There was a yeah. They're quite a bit. I liked it because it was really good in the in the free ride scene because it was quite stiff. It was like super chunky. Progressive. Yeah, it's chunky. This is really way nice. more lightweight looking. I love the look of any Daniel bike. So I'm going to go for a super nice. Super nice. This is Jay's bike. In Done talky. Talky. It's a custom build. Uh, lucky enough to grab a new gambler frame from a local rep and built the dream build. Uh, loving it on the Devon soil and W Bike Park too. Whistler <laughs> next year. Oh, there'll be a new lift. New lift coming. <gasps> I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to going back to Davy. That's more local. Yeah, it's true. Road. I yeah. love it. That's great. Now this bike, I absolutely love this bike. Yes. It's Lisa. It's a Yeti SB130 C1 2022 model. Oh, look at the purple matches that nice, I don't know what colour, dark, the light gunship grey. It is a lovely colour, isn't it? Oh. Uh, Lisa's bike built with the help of the LBS, Get Lost Cycling. I've named it Nebula, even custom Nebula. sticker on the fork since colour combo is a Nebula. Oh, that's it, there we go. It's been nine years since I last upgraded my bike, come from a giant rain, 2015. Oh, man, come Mom, on. Mom, come on, you got to give her a super nice. You can't Zealand. not give her a super that nice. That's a banging picture as well. Oh. Oh, hang on, this looks like your bike. Newt Proof Reactor. Oh, it's, oh, it's still in my garage. It's got five dev cranks, fancy. Fancy pants bike, just finished this customised build, basically changed oh. changed out all components to match. Dirty black the table bar. Cool colour. Newt Proof Horizon stem, XT, yeah, it's fancy. That is super fancy reactor, that. Is what? that a reactor? Yeah. Yeah, it's a reactor, 275. What are you giving that then? I've oh, been super nice. <laughs> Everyone so far. Uh, Ooh! Tomas's bike, a Nordest Bardino. It's Ooh. three sizes, the medium, large. It's, just... it's my bike shop where I work after. That's a good looking bike. It's a very nice looking bike. I like the colour. But however, I'm not sure we can go full super nice. Although Why not? I do really like that. Oh, that's a really good bike. Look at it. Look at the composition, look like the green of that. It's a really good Come photo. Because I've never seen one of those either. No, nor have I. 
Oh, that's super nice. Oh. Tamils Trek X Excalibur. XL. West Vancouver, BC. That's 141 days of riding, 6,258 kilometers. And I've said, I love it. Well, that's good, isn't it? I was just talking to my friend who came over from Canada last week who did the BC bike race this year and he was raving about where it is. I forgot where he said he lived now. It was just in land. It was just 40 minutes from Bellingham as well. Yeah. So all them good riding around there. What are we giving that? Because if water bottle matches his tyres and it's... Yeah. <laughs> Go on then. Slap it. On to Mikey's new proof Cub Scout. Oh! I cannot rave how good these so, bikes are. It's a Scout, but it's a Cub Scout. The kids one. It's a kids one. And it's a cool colour. Got the blue, look uh, at blue it. pedals, blue grips, blue spacers. On there. Wow, look at that. I like the Mud Guards, it's incredible. It's got the. Uh, Little bottle. What's it, what are they called? Um, Fidlock bottles. Fidlock. Oh, they're a really good bottle. Yeah. Fits my cool. bikes. That's super nice. Well, of course it is. Finishing Ooh. on another new key. This is that a Mega? Mega that is 2022 mega. custom build David's bike in Salbach. Salbach. First big trip on the new rig. Had a sick time riding with everyone at the festival. Oh, I that's thought on, I'd that's the top that of bike. a Hackleberg. We were there. Yeah. Isn't that your bike? It's not mine. It's David's bike. Um, Anna gave us a super nice Salbach. So okay. Okay. Well. <laughs> David, you got double super oh, nice. Oh, one last one. All right. Last one. This one snuck in there. Look at this. Wow, it's a white Valentino Rossi replica. Oh, is it? It's got the Z150 drop off. Was well, just the drop off, folks. It doesn't look like the lightest bike in the bike vault this week. No. Look at the bars, they're spank bars. Like massive. Really rigged forward. That's like a downtown. It's in London. It's a buzz in London. Do you reckon flat, it's a it? wheelie bike? Oh, I thought we were bombing down the streets, but London's too flat for that bike. Yeah. It's nice. Nice. Anyway, send us your bikes to the bike vault. You might get a super nice. Doesn't mean anything, nice. but we like seeing your bikes anyway. Ah, we've come to the end of the Dirt Shed show this week, but we are yeah. back next Friday if you want to get involved. All the links are down below. Get involved with your hacks and bodges. And, and, bike and vault. sorry, I'm jumping in. If you're obsessed, or if you just like yes. bikes, if you're not obsessed, you just like them. It's no, that's an obsession. Are. No, some people are just like, they're quite into them. They're not obsessed. Yeah. Anyway, get involved down below, and uh, we'll talk about it next week on Dirt Shed Show.